Hey guys, today we're going to be doing this nice blown out bronze eye with this beautiful hot pink lip. Let's get started. So first we're going to be priming our face with this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. It just smooths out the skin really well. I don't really know if it helps my foundation last any longer, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> so we're going to be using our True Match Foundation and a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush today. I find that this is the best method for applying this specific foundation. I like it with my Beauty Blender too, but this just works well with it. And we're going to buff that into the skin and then down on the neck as well, everywhere you usually put foundation. And for concealer, I'm just going to take a little bit more of the True Match and Spot Conceal. And then I'm using this Benefit Stay Don't Stray. It's an eyeshadow primer and a concealer primer. So I'm going to put that on my lids and under my eye as well just to, to prime for under eye concealer later on. And then I'm going to take this Maybelline Color Tattoo and Bad to the Bronze. Literally my favorite makeup product ever created. And I'm going to use a concealer brush to take that all over the lid. And then use the side of the concealer brush just to blend it out into the crease. This is going to be our base for our eyeshadows. And then I'm taking this Too Faced Single Eyeshadow. The color is called Glamazon. It's beautiful. And I'm going to take that on a flat shader brush and just pack that all over the lid. And then I'm going to take this Wet n Wild eyeshadow in the color Nutty with a fluffy blending brush and take that into the crease. And just keep it on the lower crease. And I'm going to take this Inglot color with that same fluffy brush and, just, and blend it just above the Nutty color so we have a nice gradient up until the brow bone. And then I'm going to take a angled liner brush and this really deep brown eyeshadow. It's from Alcone. And I'm going to line my upper lash line with it. And this gives a nice eyeliner without it being too harsh. I like it because it looks very soft and you can blend it out very easily. And I'm just going to line the top lash line and create a flick at the end just to give you a little cat eye effect. And then I'm going to take that fluffy brush and blend the, the wing just a little bit into the crease. And for concealer, I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm just going to take that under the eye and then blend it out with my Real Techniques brush. I kind of just pat it and don't swipe it because I don't want the product to be removed. I just want to blend it in. Then I'm going to take my Ben Nye powder with my fluffy brush and set that under eye concealer. And then I'm going to take that same brown shade and I'm going to line the lower lash line with it. And just the outer half of the lower lash line. And then with a smudger brush and that nutty color, I'm going to take that into the rest of the lower lash line, like the inner half. And then I'm taking my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded, and I'm going to take that on the inner corner. I like this for the summer because it's a nice highlight that doesn't move. And then I'm going to take a stippling brush and my MAC Studio Fix Powder and set the rest of my face with it. This powder does give you some extra coverage, but with a stippling brush, it doesn't pack on too harshly. And then I'm going to fill in my brows with my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. This is the same, so I'm just speeding through it because I do it this way always. <laughs> and then to highlight the brow bone, I'm taking this cream Inglot shade with a huge fluffy brush and just taking that right under the eyebrow. And for mascara, I'm taking this The Balm What's Your Type 
bodybuilder mascara, I think it's called, and just putting a quick coat of mascara on. And then to bronze my face, I'm taking this big fluffy brush and this Too Faced Poolside bronzer. I think it's called Sun Bunny. And I'm just going to take that around the perimeter of my face. I'm going to take it in right under my cheekbone, but also kind of on the cheekbone just to bronze up the skin rather than contour. And then down the highest points of the face, wherever the sun would naturally hit you. And for blush, I'm taking this Milani blush in Dulce Pink. I'm just going to put that on the apples of the cheeks and blend it back towards the hairline. And for lips, I'm taking this beautiful Maybelline color. It's called Vivid Rose. Uh, it's so gorgeous. And I'm just going to put that all over my lips. You don't even need, you don't need a lip liner for this. You don't need a lip gloss over it. It's gorgeous. It's like a beautiful watermelon shade that's perfect for summer. And then to finish everything off, I'm using my Urban Decay all, uh, D Slick Spray and just setting my whole face. This is the final product. I hope you guys like it. And see you next time. Bye.